They say it's going to get better. It will be okay. Don't give up. It's worth it. Well, they are very, very wrong. that feeling, the feeling of not breathing, suffocating, screaming out for help but no one can hear you, you're drowning, that's what depression feels like. do it. No one would even miss me. Stan and Julie would just get a new kid. There are nine of us foster kids in this cramped little house. I'm invisible. Not that I'm complaining. I don't mind going unnoticed. Although, it would be nice if they stopped calling me Chris. I might just be better at being alone. Because when you're alone, no one can hurt you. Maybe that's why I prefer to be alone. Or maybe I just make the best out of having no friends. See, no one ever really does come near me because I have this disease. It's called being awesome. <laughs> Take it from me, kids. You can't depend on anyone in this world for anything. For example, my father left me when I was four years old, and all he ever left me was a stupid toy dragon. And then we have my mother, who uses me as her emotional doormat. Where did well, you put I guess lighter? you can give all the credit to me. She did have help with that trusty bottle of gin of hers. So basically, my life sucks and... There's no way out of this pitiful existence, so we might as well live. We are born into our sucky lives, and then we die. It's a never-ending cycle, but as humans, we don't mind because it's kind of amazing. At least, it is to me. Perhaps that's because I like to think a lot about connection. Connections between humans, because we're all just part of this crazy system. I mean, honestly, does anyone ever just think anymore? I know I do. My uncle does too. He actually listens to me. My parents don't listen. I mean, they're good parents and want what's best for me. I just don't think they listen to me very well. My parents are very uptight and proper and expect me to behave the same way but it's not always easy, because they expect me to be the perfect daughter. I'm not perfect. I know that, and I'm constantly reminded of it, but it would be nice to just let loose for once and not have a care in the world. That's not me, though. That's not my life.
I, I need help. That gives you the right to try to keep the fact that he's maybe yeah. he's trying to get back into yeah. my no. life. Well, maybe I'm he trying... wants to spend time with me. Maybe he wants to get to know okay. his only daughter. Alex, I am trying to protect you, and you don't understand. Protect that now. me from what? One day you might protect understand me from what? Your dad. Where is he? You want him? There's the door. I do believe we have come to a stop. Well, no doubt. Help! Help! Hello? Is anyone there? Help! There's no use tiring yourself out. Help! This Please! This metal box. They cannot hear you. The help! Well, I don't see anyone else doing anything productive. Help! Hello? Hello? People, relax! This is a hospital elevator. They need proficient use of all of their elevators. We'll be out of here in no time. I really, really did not need this today. Really? Because when I woke up this morning, I prayed to God I'd get stuck in an elevator with three strangers. I was... I was joking. So... What are we supposed to do now? I suppose... We wait. Okay. I'm bored. You don't say. Does anyone know what time it is? It's about five in the evening. We have not been in here for an hour. You are correct. We've been in here for approximately 57 minutes. 
Thanks. Fifty-eight minutes now. So, elevator companions, where do y'all go to school? What? We're stuck in here. Might as well make a little chit chat. Oh. Um. You can't smoke in here. Why the hell not? I don't see any signs. <clears throat> Fine. Westmont. What? Westmont High, to answer your question. I go to Westmont. Hey. So do I, kid. Me too. Hmm. Yep. Well, isn't that a coincidence? Not really. You take into consideration the population density of this county, the number of hospitals assigned to this district, or the amount of high schools. It'd be much more peculiar if we didn't, in fact, attend the same school. It's simple math. You got a name, wise guy? Besai. Henry Besai. The third, to be specific. I'm Krista. What's your name? Uh, Charlie. Like the chocolate factory. <laughs> um, kinda. Charlie. How improper. From now on, you shall be Charles. As in Dickens. <laughs> Alistair Dally. It's a pleasure for you to meet me. Man, I am freezing. They keep it cold in here. To keep the bodies preserved. I am so cold. Aren't you guys freezing? How about you, Krista? Tiny little thing like you must be freezing. I'm quite comfy, actually. I think I may have a pair of mittens in my back, if you'd like. I'll pass. <sighs> I am freezing. I really wish that I had a jacket. <laughs> Or, you know, one someone else wasn't using. For the love of God, Charles, if it'll shut her up, just give her your jacket. Uh, I don't, I don't think it'll fit you. <laughs> That's okay. I like it when jackets are a little big. On second thought, I'm actually a little warm. Women are so indecisive. You would know, wouldn't you? Of course. I'm an expert when it comes to women. Seeming that you are one, I would assume so. I thought he was a boy. My dear lady, you have been misinformed. I am 100% testosterone. Actually, the average teenage male of 17 to 18 has a 300 to 1200 testosterone level in their body. Yes, Charles. I know that. I was obviously over-exaggerating. <laughs> Why do either of you know that? Well, 
Henry knows that because he's Henry. That uh, is not supposed to mean. Oh, come on. Are you being serious? When's he not being serious? <laughs> I see. It's gang up on poor Henry time now. Oh, Henry, we were just joking. Sorry for giggling. I wasn't joking. Whatever. I'm used to it. Are we just going to ignore the big fat elephant in the room? And what would that be, princess? The fact that four young, seemingly healthy teenagers are in a hospital. Oh. Well, I'm just here to do some community service. I'm here every Saturday. That's so generous of you. I don't know, really. I only started doing it because my mother and father proposed the idea. Still, you could have just stopped, you know, if you didn't want to. I guess. I mean, I really enjoy it. I love hearing elderly people talk. They speak so loud and repeat themselves all the time. But they're so pleasant. It's a big contrast from being home all the time, where everything is quiet and not so... Um, anyways. That's why I'm in this metal box. How about you all? I nominate Henry to go next in this little share circle. No, I'm good, thanks. Pretty please. Women, on average, can only keep a secret for 47 hours and 15 minutes. That was extremely sexist. It's a scientific fact. Look it up. You see, I would, but I'm kind of busy right now, you know, stuck in the elevator and all. A secret, you say? Do tell. Must I? Yes, absolutely. I'm simply here to see someone. <sighs> details, Henry. When you tell a story, it is all about the details. That's it, really. Nothing special. Are they okay? Of course they're okay. Why wouldn't they be? We are in a hospital, remember? At least they're okay. Yeah. So, Charles, why are you here? Well, uh... Uh, he's here, um, because, uh, his mom broke her ankle, and he came to check her out and drive her home. Right, Charlie? Oh. Yeah. Your mother must be very anxious that you haven't made your way to her by now. I guess, yeah. I've got an idea. Why don't we all play truth or dare? That sounds super duper fun. Uh, uh all right. Who goes first? I will. Okay. Truth or dare? Truth. Have you ever kissed a boy? 
gosh, no. My parents told me kissing leads to pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> You're choking, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Henry, it's your turn. No. Thank you. Oh, come on. Loosen up. It's just for fun. <sighs> fine. So childish, but fine. Truth or dare? Truth. Those aren't as fun. It's my choice, princess. Fine. Oh. Okay. I know what I want to ask you. Okay. This is going to sound really weird, but you seem like the kind I'm of... waiting. Is your real name Henry? No. Seriously. You just seem like the kind of person who would, you know, change their name in order to what? sound more... Henry is such a proper, fancy name. You cannot tell me that you didn't change your name I in order to sound what you would even ask. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Charlie, you ask. Um, Alice. Truth or dare? Always dare. I dare you to read the warning label on your cigarettes. Seriously. What? Scared, Alice? Never. Surgeon General's warning. Quit smoking now. What have we here? Henry, get back to me. What? Does our cold hearted Alice have a loving, soft animal, sparkling, Henry, soft side? Seriously, give that. No need to be ashamed, Alice. Okay, I've had it with you. What? For the love of God, stop popping that gum. On a 
piece. No, I do not want a piece. What I want is for you to stop being so obnoxious. Hmm. You know, it seems as though this small confined space is getting to you, Henry. No, Alice, you are what is getting to me. Guys, take it down a notch. Hmm? What was that, Henry? Is there something that you'd like to share with the rest of us? My mother told me that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Okay. That's it. What gives? By whatever do you mean, princess. Why is it that out of all of us here, I'm the one that you've decided to zone in on and annoy the crap out of. Interesting inquiry. Well? Well what, princess? Why are you always so judgy towards me? Why do you always have to be so... so... English, please. That. Comments like that, right there. I don't see you doing that to little Miss Krista over here, or Charlie Boy. Well, I suppose you make it easy. Excuse me? For the love of God, Krista wouldn't hurt a fly, and I'm not even sure Charles can speak an entire paragraph. You, on the other hand, are so outspoken. Too. Quite politely. Outspoken? Oh. I see now. I'm not following? What do you mean by she's outspoken, Henry? He means I'm a slut. I never... That is what you were saying, though. How you chose to interpret my words is purely up to you. Oh. But that was what you were saying, though. Wasn't it? Oh, come on. What do you think? I'm oblivious? You'd have to live under a rock to go to Westmont High and have never heard of me. The big whore of the school. I know what everybody calls me. Alice or Dally? More like do her or Dally. <coughs> I don't give a damn what people like you think of me. Just at least have the decency. Just say it to my face. I don't think that of you, Alice. Hey, I'm... Save it. Sorry. Alice, come on, you won't even let me apologize? Henry, leave her be. Alice, come on. Alice, stop being all pissy. I never called you a slut. But that is what you were saying, though. Sorry that I actually have feelings unlike you. You don't give a damn about anyone but yourself. That's what your problem is. Oh. I get it now. What could you possibly get? I get you! 
Oh, you think you get me so well, Oh, huh? please, Henry, I have had you pegged since the minute you walked through those doors! Oh, really? I'd love to hear you explain how you think you know someone like me so well! You know everything! <sighs> you sit up in your room. Every statistic, every poem by nobody gives a crap. All because of your undying need to always look better than everyone else. To always have something to say to distract from the fact that you're just scared. Scared to actually do something with your life because you're so terrified of failing. And people like you, Henry. <laughs> people like you. You sit and you judge people like me because I do. I throw caution to the wind. I live without fear of consequences. And you so badly want a taste of that freedom. But you can't. Because you're just as scared. You can't just say things like that about people you barely know, Alice. Excuse me, Charlie boy. But last time I checked, I can do what I damn well please. So why don't you go back to your own little world now Tony. where you belong? Attack the weak member of the herd, Alice. Stay out of it, Charles. Between she and I. And let me tell you, princess. You are terribly mistaken. I see right through this little facade that you put up and hide behind. You are just a promiscuous, scared little girl. Most promiscuous women are scared little girls on the inside. Wait, let me dumb that down for you. You're a slut with daddy issues. <laughs> what? No snappy comebacks. Here's, I had a nerve. Damn right you had a nerve. What the hell is wrong with you? You don't even know me for God's sakes! Oh, please, Alice, you're so fake. Oh, I'm the fake one. I'm the fake one, Henry. Well, that's really funny coming from you, Mr. Glasses. I will have you know that these are prescriptions. Oh, yes, just like this hair is natural. My dad's an optometrist. You know what, Henry? I am well, so sick and tired of you walking around here like you know everything. Crap. You are the reality Coming into my life. calling out everyone else because you're so thing. damn insecure. No! Uh, you know what? No! No more of this! Excuse me? I have stood in this elevator for hours now. And I am sick and tired of hearing you two bicker back and forth. You both try so hard to show up the other, but all you're really doing is proving which of you is more selfish. <laughs> and I gotta say, you're both tied for the titles of most self-involved person in the universe at this point. You people don't care about anyone but yourselves. What gives you the and right I to tell me who I do and I do care about? I mean, just yeah, all all the time oh, being stuck in this. Oh, oh, I'm yes, not saying I just care about myself either. I'm just saying 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 I'
Yeah. Alice? Yeah. Good. Tried the desk, I didn't have perception. I'll check again. It's dead. We could die. Don't say yes. It's true. Just now. And the elevator dropped, the, the cord could have snapped. We'd be crushed. Instantly. Just. Allison, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I didn't mean that. You're right, I, just, I don't know you. Yeah. I'm sorry too. Nothing like a near death experience to bring people closer together. <laughs> Charles here. You're not a man of many words, but when you use them, you, you use them well. Alice. Hey, Alice. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I just... Yeah, I'm just really sorry. Alice. Don't be sorry. You have positively nothing to be sorry for. <laughs> yes, I do. I've been nothing but bitter to all of you. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> it's just be a rough day, I guess. Indeed it has, seeing how we're all trapped inside this metal box. You know, that's... That's not what I meant. What did you mean? Nothing. I, I didn't mean anything. You can't do that. Do what? can't just say something like that and pretend it didn't happen. Yes, I can. I don't have to tell you guys anything that I don't want to. That's, that's true. She doesn't have to. Alice, you can't look for attention like that. I was not looking for attention. That was clearly for attention, and you know it. Alice, just say what's bothering you. Maybe you'd feel better if you did. Come on, you've been asking it's, for attention all day. We're finally giving it it's, to you. Or it's it's open like, for you to talk no, about if you want to. Say hello. Shut up! God! I was just thinking about my father, okay? If you don't mind me asking, what specifically were you thinking? Of course, I mind you asking. But you're gonna make me tell you anyway, so... What's the point? <sighs> My father left me when I was four years old, okay? left me was that stupid dragon. 
that's why it means so much to me. It's the only thing I have that shows that he... <sighs> that he ever gave a damn about who I am. Or at least that's... I found out that my mother has been keeping from me a stack of letters he's been trying to send me for years. He probably thinks that I've been avoiding him. He probably thinks that I hate him. So I, I looked him up, uh, found out that this hospital is the last place he's ever been able to hold a job. I don't know, I, I guess I thought I'd try to find him. Boy, did that go. Probably for the best, anyways. I don't think he'd like who I turned out to be. Anyways, so to sum it all up, my mother is a narcissistic witch who treats me like dirt, and my dad abandoned me, so you know, no one in my life gives a damn about me. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm so sorry, Alice. Don't be. It's not like I care anyways, right? What do you mean, princess? I don't know. I stopped looking both ways before I crossed the street. I, I ran red lights, played with fire, smoke a pack or two a day. I stopped counting how many pills before I take them? It's not like I'm trying to kill myself or anything. It's just... I guess somewhere down the road I just... Stopped caring. What a pretty little world we live in. Disagree. It's a very ugly world. Charles, I don't think you're looking close enough. We live in a pretty world. With our pretty families, our pretty friends, our pretty little lives. Henry? Sometimes the world can be pretty, you know? In fact, it can be beautiful. Can't it? I guess it depends on how you look at it. You're not a glass half full or a glass half empty kind of guy, are you? I like to look at the glass more than the water. After all, it's all about a functioning support system.
What do you guys miss most about the outside world? It's only been a few hours, Charlie. When I was a child, I was deathly afraid of elevators. <laughs> now I know why. When I was a kid, I'd press every button so I could ride every floor. I'm sure everyone else in the elevator loved you. Everyone loved me when I was a kid. Contrary to now. Ha ha ha, Henry. And I'm sure everyone just adored you. No, I sure did not. I'm sure that's not true. I was a quiet kid, I guess. Henry, quiet. As if. I kid you not. Every kid's got somebody who loves them. Imaginary or not. I was never really fond of fake things. Then whatever do you wear these glasses? What were you like then, when you were a kid, Henry? been able to see through the, the falsehood of the world. My constant fight for knowledge isn't because I want to know everything, it's... Never mind. I'm so envious of all of you and, and how you can connect with people and, and and see light in the smallest of things while I sit alone in my room. I don't know how to explain this to people. No one except my Uncle Kenny. It's so lovely that you have someone in your life that you can talk to. Blue. diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. It's terminal. I visit him every other day or, or more. Guys, it's, it's, it's okay. Dying is a part of life. They don't actually feel that way. I'm terrified of dying. I thought you didn't care. But, uh... Like you said, Henry, women are so indecisive. No, I guess... I'm just scared of dying because it's... No one know, you know. No one's ever lived to tell the tale. What if it's horrible? Death doesn't always have to be a bad thing, you know. What do you mean? Well. Personally, am not very religious. I believe when you die, it's over. You're gone. You have your whole life to leave your mark. Not necessarily for the world, but for the individual.
individuals whom you've accepted and have accepted you in return. Of course, it's sad when someone passes away. But it's sad in the way that feeling sad makes you kind of happy. Maybe I've got it all wrong. I can't explain it well, I guess. Maybe I just don't understand the concept of being sad. I guess I don't understand the concept of being happy either. Harvey, do you need to talk? No thanks. Uh, I'm fine. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm not very good at talking. Charlie, I think that all of us now have said something that was uncomfortable. Sometimes it's easier to say things to strangers. I don't have much to share. Charlie. What? What do you want me to say? That I just don't have anything that I don't have a reason to wake up in the morning. Everything in my life has just fallen apart. It's all in broken little pieces. Sometimes when you feel like everything we have has gone to pieces, but we've got a lot. I don't need to ever forget that. Charlie, I'm no expert, but I can see the pain in your eyes. Please talk. If not to us, then to someone. Talking will help. First thing I can remember is my mother. I remember how she always smelled like lilacs dipped in sugar. I remember her wavy dark hair and how it hung just below her shoulders. I remember every night she would kiss my forehead and tuck me in. Some night she would sing. I remember when she started to lose her hair and how the color faded. I remember her once tan skin grew pale. I remember when she stopped singing. I remember the bruises on her arms. I remember her funeral. The next thing that I remember is my father. Then I remember the bruises on me. I remember not getting tucked in at night. I remember a tall, 
thin woman taking me away from my father. I was ten then. I've been in foster care since then with a ton of other kids who hardly know my name. I stay out of trouble and out of the way. I like to go unnoticed. If I go unnoticed long enough, no one would care if I was gone. That's why I'm here, I guess. For help. You're going to be okay. I'm not trying to be funny right now. Alice, seriously, don't say things like that. I think we're going to be fine. What if we're not? We're not going to die. We're probably just working on getting soft theory. Think about it, guys. We've been stuck in here for four. Five hours? The call button's a dud. None of our cell phones seem to be working. Who knows what the hell is going on out there, but we've had absolutely no contact with the outside world. I think it's pretty obvious. No one's gonna make it. I'll turn the on switch. Think. I have a feeling that if we're patient and wait just a little while longer, we will all walk out of this just fine. Feeling. Yeah. Okay. Krista, I I know that you think that this whole little optimistic thing is cute or whatever, but it's not always helpful. Hey, leave her alone. She's just trying to help. Thank you, Jared. We're all going to be fine. None of us are dying. As if you even care. Excuse me? Stop, that was too far. Like you haven't said anything that wasn't too far. Alice, you were pushing it. We've all been in this elevator for far too long. We've laughed, we've cried. Very personal things, and I've had just about enough of it. Like you're the only one? Henry, I think that all of us have had just about enough of it. Alice, just apologize to Charles. Make me. I did nothing wrong. How dare you, Alice? You have no right to oh, say how I- Save us the sad story, Charlie, just for like five seconds. Like you saved us your pity me moment of fame. Hey, you forced me into that. I wouldn't have said anything if you hadn't made me. Because I do recall holding a gun up to your head, Alice. You could have just not spoken. It was you looking for attention all along. Why is it that every time I start to think that you are remotely a decent person, you turn around and you act like a snarky jerk? Here we go again. All hail drama queen Alice. Learn how to take a joke. Shut up! Both of you, I'm sick of it! Oh, please, stop pretending like you have a spine, Charlie boy. Charles, good boys don't play with fire. Oh, so you are admitting that you think I'm hot, Henry. You know, I'm surprised that it took you this long. Alice, you know what? What, I, Henry? No, please, you know what? Oh. I'm done! Alice, you are a self-involved little brat! And Henry, you think you know everything! 
But you don't even know yourself. Oh my god. And he's everything with you is just a lot of tennis. Everything's so tired. Understand what careless human beings you are acting like right now. You all act like you're so entitled to have such privileged lives and were just dealt the wrong card in life. Life is a gift. And you should be grateful even be alive. You all act like you're so gosh dang alone. But look around. When you walked into this elevator, it was not an inconvenience, but rather a second chance chance to grow, to feel, to say you're sorry, to heal, to take a chance, to find yourself. Stop taking your life for granted and start taking control of the world around you. Franklin, today I've been amazed by every single one of you. If I had the opportunity to go back in time and not get stuck on this elevator, I would still choose to get on. I hope you would too. It's like a disease. You always feel tired and sickly. I guess it feels a lot like fading. fading. I don't know. Maybe I can't explain this correctly. To me, loneliness is very similar to sleeping in a light state and then abruptly jerking awake. It's normal for you to want to call upon someone that you love, but loneliness is having no one to call upon. Even when you do feel like you have someone to go to, you may feel lost on how to get to that person. But that's alright. Loneliness is a state, a tiny fragment of all the amazing things that are happening currently. So many people go through the same things and everyone handles it differently. But just because no one feels things in the exact way you do, doesn't mean that you are alone or can shut yourself out. You always have someone. Even if you don't know them yet. They say it's going to get better. It will be okay. Don't give up. It's worth it. Well, they are very, very 
right. I do.